afternoon. This afternoon I'm going to introduce you to the new recently released SketchUp Make 2015. There's not a lot of difference from a user's perspective between release 2014 and the 2015 release. So what's new in SketchUp Make 2015? Well the first thing that's new is SketchUp is now a 64-bit application. Sure. This will bring you to the page, the home page of SketchUp. On the home page, we click on the download SketchUp button right here. This brings you to a page called you are about to download SketchUp and you have that answer. You need control plus shift plus E or shift plus Z. By the way, the the Zoom Extents is one I use all the time, so what I might do is I might even change the shortcut key to Z. In which case, wherever Z is currently assigned, it would be unassigned. Notice in the VCB, before I click, it says 6. That's the number of sides. You can see it says sized 6. That's the number of sides that will be in this polygon. I can change it, for instance, if I type S, Enter. Now I'm going to have an eight-sided polygon. So I'll click on the origin with an eight-sided polygon and I'll drag it out. Notice there's now a little gray circle. And notice the polygon is inscribed inside of it. And now let's discuss the three-point arc. To demonstrate the three-point arc tool, I have two parallel lines here and they're symmetrical. In other words, their center points uh, are vertical, one from the other. This one's a little shorter than this one, but nonetheless, they're, if you draw a center line here, you'll find them symmetrical. So I'm going to choose the three-point arc tool, and what I want is I want an arc that begins here, touches the midpoint of this line, and ends here. So I can use the three-point arc tool for that. This is the three-point arc tool right here. So I'll click here at this endpoint. Before I even click, look at the VCB. Notice the VCB says sides 12. That means whatever arc I draw is going to have 12 straight line segments approximating the arc. I can change it to anything I want. Right now, I can type in 18, which I'll do. And I'll have 18 straight line segments approximating the arc. All right now, I click on this point, And I bring it to the center of this line right there. And then to this end point, And click. Notice I have a symmetrical arc that goes through those three points. And if I count these line segments, I'll only count half of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine line segments in half of the arc, which means there's 18 total. And that essentially is the three-point arc tool. I'm not sure that you will use it a lot in woodworking, but you will, in fact, use it uh, a, a bit. But that's it. So now let's move on to something that's really interesting. And that is the Rotated Rectangle Tool. To demonstrate the Rotated Rectangle Tool, I'm going to use the Polygon Tool. I'm using it sort of as a paintbrush, just going over, touching these corners, so I get two lines at a time when I touch the corners. I'm being careful not to touch the internal stuff that I want to keep. Now to get a face on the top, all I need to do is redraw one line. Doesn't matter which line. And now look at the shape that I have. 